Text HL Tornado to 51555 and donate to the Salvation Army relief efforts. Every donation goes directly to relief efforts in those states. Well, speaking of severe weather, there is more of it now occurring across the country's midsection. Again, getting out into the plains. This time more into the northern and central plains dealing with this wild weather swing. Starting off taking a look at the national high temperatures from today. Some pretty significant differences from, say, the Intermountain West to the central plains. Wichita, Kansas hitting 76 this afternoon. Dallas around 80 degrees. And there is definitely a strong storm system in between. Looking at some current temperatures, it's a bit more dramatic. Now, as that cold air advances across the Dakotas, Bismarck now down to 22, Sioux Falls, South Dakota at 47, but Rapid City's at 23, Harrisburg out in western Nebraska is at 26, but Omaha's at 72. Uh, that's where that system is. And it's producing unbelievable wind gusts, too. Some of these wind gusts, not even associated with the thunderstorms that have developed, have been topping 80 and even around 90 miles an hour at times. It is wild out there. And there are just huge areas. Areas. I mean, several states under these high wind warnings, which is all the bright orange that you see. I mean, it goes from uh, parts of New Mexico, Texas Panhandle, all the way up into the Great Lakes. Right here in between, right through Omaha to Wichita, that's where we have this crazy line of severe thunderstorms. There is a high risk, um, actually a moderate risk, but a four out of five for a good portion of the state of Iowa, uh, getting up just south of Minneapolis in Minnesota today for severe weather. We've got numerous tornado warnings down through Omaha into parts of northern Kansas. Um and right along this line here, it looks like this is going to be a derecho. So it is going to be producing some extreme wind over several hundred miles, potentially. So we're going to be hearing about more damage, unfortunately, after the storm system winds down. Meanwhile, a warm front coming into our area tonight, bringing some wet weather. A little wintry in nature through some of the hill towns, but that'll be short lived. We all go over to rain showers, rising temperatures, bit of a breeze out of the southwest overnight tonight. By sunrise, the wet weather should be done. We'll start off cloudy, but end up seeing some breaks of sunshine tomorrow. A little breeze easy at times, but nothing too bad. Wind could gust 20, 25 miles an hour out of the southwest. Then we go into tomorrow night and a cold front comes through. May have an isolated shower, but should be short lived. I don't think it'll be quite this dramatic. And then for Friday, wall to wall sunshine. It's looking beautiful. Wind will shift more out of the north northwest, though, so it will gradually get colder. But temperatures in the valley are still going to get close to 50. Looking at the temps right now, it is chilly across the northeast today. Low 40s in Springfield as we are on the north side of the warm front. South of the front, temperatures are in the 50s, and that's where we will be tomorrow. We've actually gotten cooler compared to this time yesterday, but we will have temperatures approaching 60 tomorrow, so that's a good 20-degree temperature swing. Tonight, we start off around 40, but temperatures will climb overnight, and tomorrow we reach a high near 60, again, likely breaking the record if we do get there tomorrow afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds. Tomorrow's temperatures, upper 50s to near 60 just about everywhere, breezy with some sunshine. Then our next storm system approaches for the week. Right now, Saturday afternoon, it looks like a snowy start, a changeover to a wintry mix and even rain south of the Mass Pike, and then possibly ending as a wintry mix or even a little snow Saturday night to Sunday morning. Could cause some travel issues. Of course, we'll keep you posted. And now looking dry and very chilly to start off the Christmas week. Guys, we'll send it back to you. It's going across America now to that massive winter storm.